For eczema, it's actually great having 100% humidity. It almost felt like a blanket that was like soothing your pain. Mm -hmm. I would actually get a, like the strongest humidifier and I would just like crank it like all the way up. And my one of my friends came in and he, he came in and he's like, dude, I can't breathe. I'm like, it's great, man. It's just like India, it's like a tropical rainforest. <laughs> How has eczema impacted your work and college life? Uh, I, can, I can start off with this one if, if you guys don't mind. Um, college, I would say my eczema came, became probably even worse. Um, the sleep got to me the, the most, I yeah. think, out of all the things. I remember I wrote my essay for med school and then I had my friend read it. I was like, I don't know what it sounds like. I haven't slept in like a year. <laughs> and then he's like, it's, it reads like it, you, somebody who wrote it, who hasn't slept in a year. Oh, I, was like, oh, no. I was like, great. For me in college, I was very scared because one of my top priorities was like, I can't find a, or live in a space with a communal bathroom. Mm -hmm. I just think it would be so hard to like go to a communal bathroom and like carry my jugs of like creams and lotions without like getting anyone's attention to it. So one of my classmates ended up going to the same college as me and I told her, I was like, you know, there are going to be days I'm going to need you to help, like, moisturize me, if that's okay. So she's been able to help me with all of that and my struggles throughout college. I know what you guys are talking about. You know what came in clutch for me? A doctor's note. And I got a single room, not a private bathroom, but I, I wasn't that lucky. But at least I got a single room. And then before I went on campus, my parents did a good job at teaching me how to manage my skin away from home. Just understanding your own medical history learning about the health centers and how to find out where the nearest dermatologist type stuff. It just takes time and we have to be, and we have to be patient with ourselves. Yeah. Eczema really hit me the hardest like during my most important parts of school. And I would say those were the times I was right. In retrospect, I'm actually more proud of myself because it was very difficult um, at that time. And I'm not sure how I actually like sort of got through that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, you're okay. For me, um, my, my skin kind of plateaued and was doing pretty good in college, but I wasn't making healthy decisions for my body. I started waking up with those swells that I mentioned on my face. And once I graduated college and I actually moved back home with my parents for a little bit of time, I was relearning how to live um, with it affecting me more severely. Uh, I needed to learn how to eat appropriately to keep inflammation down in my body. I might have been an adult at that time, but I was really reliant on my mom. I feel like in each of your stories of these people who stepped up to moisturize you, right? That's huge. Finding those people, sharing your story, right, with those people um, really makes a difference.